to tremendous hardships after great physical and financial courage is in business. While one part of Britain is busily making money, another is just as busily spending it. Royal Ascot again gives everybody a colourful excuse. Stable boys on the march, giving point to their strike, plus a letter of protest from head lad John Casey to the Queen's representative, Lord Abergavenny. But in the Royal Ascot tradition, it was all serene, peaceful and tucked away out of sight, just in time for the arrival of the Royal Party. Ascot without Mrs. Schilling and her hats would be like strawberries without cream, or some poor peacock without his rudder. Everybody's getting in on the act. In the paddock, Her Majesty and Prince Philip take a closer look at the entries in the day's big event, the Ascot Gold Cup. Cigarro, an Irish entry, and the expected favourite. formalities of the paddock over, it's back to the pleasant relaxation that makes Royal Ascot the unique occasion that it is. The Gold Cup is an important race, so there's a parade. Cigarro, the favourite. Le Bavard and Girondeau. Lester Piggott on Cigarro. Joe Mercer and Zab, another French challenger, all going smoothly into the stores. Starter's orders. And they're racing, two and a half miles to cover, so for the first few furlongs, nobody is in a hurry. into the straight for the first time and past the grandstand. No cheering yet, there's another circuit to go. The field settling down. This is where tactics take over. Filominski in the lead, then Labava and Kambalda. Round the bend and into the country, just over a mile from home. The pace stepping up. Le Bavard's there. Cambalda and Mistigri. Cigarro in fifth place. There's a lot of bumping and boring going on. They're turning into the straight. Cambalda leading the group with a clear lead over Filiminski. Lester Pickett on Cigarro is moving up, and with the post in sight, he hits the front. No trouble at all. Mistigri, Le Bavard, Cambalda close in his heels. But there's no doubt about the winner of this year's Gold Cup. It's Cigarro all the way. Mistigri is eventually disqualified, leaving Le Bavard second, Cambalda third. And Cigarro takes his rightful place in the winner's enclosure. Lester Piggott notches up his seventh big win, another record at sunny Royal Ascot.